Hey guys, Brandon from RookiePreacher.com here. I want to share in this video with you something that's going to help you get ready to preach. Uh, I don't know about you, but there are some times in the week where uh, it's, it's a sermon that you're just, you, don't, you don't really feel sure about, or maybe you, are just, you had a rough week and you're just not fully there. Well, I want to introduce to you an idea and a routine that I've developed for me, and I want to share it with you because I hope it's going to help uh, it's, it's my Sunday morning pre-preaching routine, and what this has done for me is allowed me to get my mind around what I'm about to preach, no matter what else is going on in my life, so that when I get up there to share God's Word, it's my best, and I'm giving it my all. So, let's do this. Number one, when I wake up in the morning, uh, on a Sunday morning, I wake up early. I don't know what time you have to be at your church for Sunday morning services, but I encourage you to... Uh, set your set your alarm a little bit early and as early as possible to where you get enough sleep, of course, on Saturday night and wake up early. Next, I go to God in prayer. I ask him to uh, just use me that day. I ask, I pray for the people who will be at the church that day. I ask God to both open my heart and open their hearts as he is going to do his work. And I ask him to really just push me out of the way and have him Go forward in what he wants to do. Number three, I read that main passage of scripture again that I'm going to be preaching on. I go back and read it. If I have time, I read the surrounding context, the textual context, so that I just have that really fresh in my mind and in my heart. And a lot of times, it's funny, a lot of times when I go back through that, uh, God will wreck me a little bit and uh, just bring out some emotion that I hadn't been experiencing all throughout the week. He'll do that in that moment, and I believe that's just God getting my heart ready for what he wants to do. Number four, I look through my message again. Um, if you follow RookiePreacher.com and you've heard us talk about uh, how we prepare sermons, I do a manuscript, but then I also boil that down to preaching notes. So I will look at both my manuscript uh, and my preaching notes on Sunday morning before I even leave the house. And then I will put on a sermon. If I have a little bit of time, I'll, I'll watch a sermon uh, from someone. You know, we all have our couple of people that we like to go toward. Um, it just allows me to get my mind around uh, the, 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 the beauty and the privilege and the honor and the weight of preaching God's word. Um, and so sometimes I'll put that on audio and I'll listen to it while I'm in the shower, getting ready for the day, and I'll just continue to listen to that. Uh, on my way to the church. And so uh, I encourage you to try that. That's something that has helped me. I get ready, I leave the house, and then uh, we have a prayer team on Sunday mornings that prays with the speaker that morning. And so I'll go in and pray with them. And again, it's, uh, it's another prayer that's really focused on our servants who will be serving that day. It's focused on the people who will be there. And it's also just pleading with God that he would show up and do what he wants to do in that message that day. Uh, after that, we, you know, the service starts, worship is happening, I'm worshiping God, and then I go into the back. Uh, we, we have like kind of a back room before, we, you know, before you can walk up into the stage. You could do that from the front, but I like to go in the back um, during the last song, right before the message, and I get my pre- preaching stretch in. Like I stretch out my legs, stretch out my arms because I want to be loose and ready um, because I like to move around a little bit. Uh, I don't usually do any uh, cartwheels or anything on the stage, but you know, I want to be ready if, if I need to do that. Just kidding. I uh, wouldn't do that. Don't recommend you to do it either. Uh, but I get that stretch in and that really loosens me up, makes me feel um, just ready to go. And then one more prayer before I go out there, again, asking God to push me out of the way, and then it's go time. I go out there, and I enjoy it, I have fun, and I make sure that I bring all of me to that message. And that's what this really does for me, and I think it will do it for you. If you decide to develop a pre-preaching routine for Sunday mornings, I believe it will help you give all of you to that moment, to where God is speaking through you, and you are sharing His Word with your people at your church.